What's happening, guys? Today, I want to give you eight Salah Central sections that you didn't know about. Now, I've been going back over Salah Central and I've noticed a lot of new menu items, a lot of new things or things I've just overlooked over time, some of which are really useful. So I thought, let me put together a video and share a bit of this with you. I hope that you find some of these some of these are brand new to you or some of them you want to look more at at this stage of your business. Number one, storage volume. Ever wondered where to find your inventory restrictions and limits? Well, you can find it by going inventory, manage FBA shipments, and then at the very bottom, you can see restock limits and storage volume. Restock limits, if you open this tab, is going to tell you the max utilization you currently have, how much you have actually used of that utilization, and of course your max shipment quantity, which would fill up the rest of this bar. And storage volume, you can see these are unlimited, but this is going to tell you whether or not you have limits on how much you can store at Amazon. Number two, improve listing quality. Ever wondered how customers search using these specific fields to find a product? Well, each of these uses info you need to have on the back of your listing. And you can ensure you have that info by going inventory, improve listing quality. And on this page, it will show you the items with recommendations or you can search specific ASINs. Then the recommendations is clickable. And if we click on view all missing attributes, it's going to immediately pop up with the fields that we can insert for this product to ensure it's searchable through those aforementioned fields. Number three, measure non-Amazon ads. Have you ever run ads or some sort of promotion off of Amazon and wanted to know how many of your sales actually came from that campaign off of Amazon? Well, now you can figure this out. Go advertising measure non-Amazon ads. Now this program is still in beta, so it's still being tested, but here you can register, link your campaigns, and then figure out how many of your sales are coming from those off Amazon campaigns. Number four, fee discounts. Do you want to pay less in Amazon fees? Well, maybe you can. In some cases, by lowering your price, Amazon will offer you preferential fees. And to see if this is something that will work for you, go to pricing and then fee discounts. So in this case, no fee discounts are available at this time, but you may well have optional discounts here where you can lower your price slightly, offer Amazon customers a better deal, and in turn, Amazon will provide you with a lower Amazon fee structure. Number five, negotiated pricing. Do you want to offer specific business customers certain prices? Well, now you can. You go pricing, negotiated pricing. And in here, you can actually add your specific business customers, upload those prices, usually with an expiration date for the customer. And then those deals are sent to the customer for approval. And those will only stay live until you hit your expiration date. Number six. Small and light or subscribe and save? Do you sell small items and want to take advantage of preferential fees for small items? Or do you sell consumables and you want to boost repeat purchasing by your customers? Well, in some cases you can if your product is eligible. To learn more about these and check if you are eligible, go to growth and then fulfillment programs. In here, you can see programs like Small and Light or Subscribe and Save. In Subscribe and Save, this is a system where you can offer discounts to customers if they regularly purchase your product. So they set up, they subscribe and save by setting up almost a debit order on, for example, buying your skin cosmetic every single month. That promises you future sales and you promise them a discount on the product. And in small and light, if your product is small and light enough, Amazon has a very, very preferential fee structure for items of that nature. So that will help you boost profits because you're paying less in fulfillment fees. Number seven, merchant token. 
A lot of services and tools may well ask you to provide them with a seller ID, also called a merchant token. And every seller on the platform has a unique merchant token. And you can find this by going settings, account info, and then within the business information box, you are going to see merchant token. So this is where you can find yours. And number eight, FBA settings. Did you know you can actually customize your relationship with FBA and you can decide on what they do for you or what you choose to rather do yourself? And you can do this once again under settings, but this time you are going to go to fulfillment by Amazon at the bottom. And on this page, there are various sections which you can edit from this box on the right. But to give you some examples, you can turn the inventory placement option on or off. If you turn that on, it's going to ensure you always get one Amazon warehouse to send shipments to, but at a cost. You can also enable refurbishment settings. Here you can set this to refurbish unsellable customer returns. So if you would rather have Amazon attempt to refurbish and sell your product as an Amazon warehouse deal under your listing, rather than get it back as a return, then this is a good one to enable. And another noteworthy one is export settings. You can actually set FBA export to on, and in these cases, various customers around the world who still buy from Amazon.com can purchase your product. In those cases, that product will be exported out from the US and the foreign customer is usually the one responsible for import fees and additional shipping. So those are the eight Seller Central sections I wanted to share with you. Remember to also smash this like button, even if one of those were useful to you. But I hope you guys did find value in this. Let me know which section should we look more into. Let me know. Drop a comment below. But I hope you guys are all keeping well and I'll catch you in the next one.